prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, God blesses us with the message of His Word. But Jesus reminds us today, not just to be hearers, but most importantly, doers of His Word. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Know this, my dear brothers and sisters. Everyone should be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For anger does not accomplish the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filth and evil excess, and humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you, 
and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his own face in a mirror. He sees himself, then goes off, and promptly forgets what he looked like. But the one who peers into the perfect law of freedom and perseveres, and is not a hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, such a one shall be blessed in what he does. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, his religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Who shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord? Please stand. O Lord, give joy to my heart, your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored, and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel reading today is connected from the stories of the gospel in the past days. We have heard Jesus in this story feeding the thousands of people. But yesterday, 
Jesus was disappointed with his disciples because the disciples did not understand the meaning of the miracle of the feeding of the thousands of people. And so Jesus today performs another miracle in front of them. And that is, Jesus opens the eyes of the blind man. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to teach something to his disciples in these miracles. That in every blessing that Jesus gives, in every miracle that Jesus does for them, Jesus also wants to give them a lesson. Jesus opens their eyes for every blessing that He gives them. Parang gustong ituro ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad na sa bawat biyayang tinatanggap natin, sa bawat milagro na ibinibigay ng Diyos sa ating buhay, ay binubuksan din niya ang ating mga mata sa nais niyang ituro sa atin. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, for every blessing that you receive, know that, also, that God also gives a lesson for that blessing. Siguro po ngayong araw ay meron sa inyo na nagdiriwang siguro ng kanilang kaarawan kaya nagsimba kayo. Do not just thank the Lord for the blessing of life. Maybe ask also the Lord, what is it that you want me to see during my birthday? What is the lesson of this blessing? Siguro po ngayong araw ay nandito kayo, nagpapasalamat kayo sa Diyos. May natanggap kayong biyaya. Maybe you were promoted in your job. Maybe you just graduated or you passed an exam. Do not just thank the Lord for this blessing. Ask the Lord, what is the meaning of this blessing? What is the lesson of this blessing? Kapag may natanggap ko tayong biyaya, hindi po lamang ito pinagpapasalamat. Binubuksan din ng Diyos ang ating mga mata. Mayroon siyang nais tayong makita. Mayroon siyang nais tayong matutunan. Tanungin natin ng Diyos, Panginoon, ano po ang nais niyong gawin sa biyayang ito? Ano po ang nais niyong matutunan ko sa biyayang inyong ibinigay? God opens our eyes to a lesson after giving us a blessing. In our first reading today, this is put beautifully by St. James. He said, do not just become hearers of the word, but become doers of the word. Kapag may ibinigay ang Diyos sa atin na kanyang salita at biyaya, sabi niya, wag lamang ipasok sa isang tenga at lumabas sa kabila. Kinakailangang tingnan nating mabuti ang salita at tanungin, ano kaya ang nais ipagawa ng Diyos sa akin? Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng Diyos sa kanyang ibinigay na salita? My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus opens our eyes to a lesson after a blessing. Let us ask ourselves today, what is the lesson of my blessing? What does God want me to see after giving me this blessing? Sana po ngayong araw, mga kapatid, huwag lang tayong magpasalamat sa biyayang tinanggap natin. Tanungin din natin ng Diyos, para saan po ito? 
ano kaya ang kahulugan nito? Ano po, Panginoon, ang nais mong makita ko sa biyayang ito? Amen. Please stand. We ask God the Father to open our eyes so that we may follow Him wholeheartedly. For every petition, let us say, Father, fill us with your light. Father, fill us with your light. That the Church may grow in her effort to bring light to those who are experiencing darkness in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, fill us, us with, with your, your light. light. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, and unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father fill, fill us, us with, with your, your light. light. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, fill us with your, your light, that the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's loving presence in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father fill us, us with, with your, your light. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father fill us with, with your light, that our deceased relatives and friends may find perpetual and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father fill, fill us with, with your, your light. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become, for those who do your will, the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few moments. Tonight at uh, 9 p.m., we would like to invite you for our uh, praying of the Healing Rosary for the World. And tonight, we will be hosted by the San Isidro Labrador Parish in Malinta, Valenzuela City. We thank their community for leading us in praying the Rosary for the Healing of the World. This will be this evening at 9 p.m. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, is uh, the 150th anniversary of the martyrdom of the Gomburza. Baka po naaalala pa natin sa ating history lessons, ang tatlong paring martyr, Gomburza, Padre Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, at Jacinto Zamora. Sila po ay tatlong pari na binitay dito sa Bagong Bayan, sa Luneta, at sila po ay nag-alay ng kanilang buhay para sa bayan. Tomorrow is the 150th anniversary of their martyrdom. Tomorrow, uh, in commemoration of this event, the clergy of the Archdiocese of Manila will come together here at the Manila Cathedral at 9 a.m. for a Mass, and we will be having a penitential walk from the Manila Cathedral towards Luneta, where they were executed, and we will also move to the Archdiocesan Shrine of Nuestra Señora de Guia in Ermita, where we will offer our prayers to Our Lady. Ito po ay penitential walk ng mga pari. Pagpepenitensya, hindi po para sa aming sarili, para sa bayan. Kung paanong inialay ng gombursa ang kanilang buhay bilang mga pari para sa bayan, gayon din naman ay nananalangin po kaming mga kaparian para sa bayan, lalo na po para sa nalalapit na eleksyon. Halalan kung saan pipili tayo ng mga bagong pinuno. Nawa ay ipagdasal nyo rin po kami sa aming gagawin na penitential walk bukas. Nawa ay maging mabunga ito, maging makahulugan. At nawa ay ipanalangin nyo rin po kaming mga kaparian na sana po ay patuloy kaming makapag-alay ng aming mga sarili at buhay para sa bayan. We hope that tomorrow we could have a very meaningful commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the martyrdom of Gomburza, the three priests who offered their lives for the country. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, 